I am just so grateful. I wanted you guys to know that. That's what you make it. Hey guys, welcome to today. Something amazing happened today, and that is that this channel, Aileen Caleb, we hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, and it is a huge milestone, something that we honestly never thought that we would ever reach. Like, it's actually hard to really wrap our minds around. But we are so grateful, and it's hard for me to really express how grateful I am, but I just want you to know that as much as it's just a number, what it represents is something more meaningful to us, and that is this community that we have. And that's people who are struggling with infertility, people who have, people who know people who are struggling, and just other people who just want to get to know um, what that is like. And we're not necessarily always going to be an infertility channel per se. Um, I'm sure, you know, we'll turn into a family channel and all that kind of thing. Um, but infertility is like, our base and our roots and that's a big part of what this all is and it's also honestly really cool to see all of our like hard work our countless hours of editing and filming and trying to do better on this channel and to see it kind of like come into fruition is just a really cool feeling it's really surreal um, so I want to thank you guys so so much for supporting us whether you're brand new to the channel whether you've been here for a long time like on our last video, we asked you guys to comment how long you've been and what your first video was and it has been like mind-blowing and really fun to read all those comments and see kind of like the history that we have with you guys. And something about our channel that I'm really proud of is that we have like a very, um, tight-knit like loyal kind of subscriber base meaning that a lot of you guys have stuck around for so long and a lot of you guys are invested and I've even had the chance to talk with a lot of you guys like we've had conversations I've you know seen your comments throughout the years and actually recognize your names and like know who you are based from your comments and I think that's something really special I don't think many youtubers can honestly say that so we're so grateful, we're super excited for what's to come. Uh, it feels good to be excited about YouTube. Again, we kind of go in like stages. I was talking about this with uh, my friend Katie from Cult Fiction, but YouTube kind of goes in like waves where you're like super into it and super excited and then you kind of have a like a lull period. Um, but it feels really good to be on one of those like higher periods where you're excited about it. And yeah, so I am just so grateful. I wanted you guys to know that. And here's to the future. <laughs> Aren't you so excited, Ellie? You look so excited. Like your excitement's off the charts right now. So something else that is pretty awesome is that I actually spent the morning doing a bunch of stuff, but one of the things that I got done was, oh, <laughs> why is that so funny to me? This is garbage from when I cleaned the upstairs, like what, like a week and a half ago or something. It's just been sitting there for ages, so. Anyways, <laughs> see that's what vlogging does is it makes you make your bed, it makes you take out the garbage. <laughs> it's good for you. Um, but anyways, I wanted to say that I finally made a plan for our anniversary and so we actually um, booked like a one night stay just at a, it's called a resort but I mean it's not like a Mexico <laughs> resort or a Hawaii resort or something. It's a hotel and it has like a pool and um, it should be kind of a nice stay. So we're going to go just one night. Um, our anniversary is June 10th which is a Sunday so we'll go the Saturday and then stay till the Sunday and just me and Caleb and all I want, like literally all I care about. I told him, I said, I just want you and me, just us, that's it. Like, I don't want distractions, like, I don't need to do anything fancy or crazy, I just want to spend time with you, and that is it. So I think that would be perfect to just have, be in a place where you don't have to worry about anything, you just kind of like mosey around, that would be great. Um, so we're going to do that, which I'm really happy about. And speaking of which, those two dresses that I showed you guys, the second one is actually navy. A lot of comments said, um, referring it to the black dress, but it's actually a dark blue navy color. So anyways, I still don't know which one I'm going to wear. I think I'm going to have to research what restaurant we'll go to and then base it off that, whether it's like more fancy or casual. And now I'm just blabbing, but that's what I do <laughs> so I hope you're still here I've got the crock pot going with some chili so the house currently smells amazing 
And I'm also trying to figure out our flights um, for going to Victoria for the transfer. So because we have a transfer date, um, that makes it easier because we know like what days, like Kilbardi took the days off and everything. But what I'm struggling with is like that date is still not set in stone. Like it depends. Um, I'll have like an ultrasound um, a little bit before. Hmm, let me check my protocol. Yeah, I'll have an ultrasound a bit over a week before the actual transfer date and that checks, you know, my lining and everything, make sure the progress is going well. And then as long as it's good, it says tentative transfer as long as your lining looks good. So, like, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine because that's like I'm pretty sure it'll be fine but there's just like this little part of me that like worries will we book the flights and then it'll just be like the day after we leave that they'll have to move the transfer I don't think so um so I'm pretty confident in the flight dates that we have because we're a bit before we're going a bit before the transfer and we're leaving a little bit after so we have some like wiggle room so I think we'll be okay but uh, yeah, I really want to get those booked um, because then I'll actually be able to breathe because I'm still really nervous about that. Hi there, I'm looking to book an appointment for an acupuncture session. Hi Jennifer, this is Ayla Langford calling you back. Um, I am calling to set up the endometrial biopsy. Okay, please tell me if anyone else is like me and is a really terrible at leaving messages on answering machines. I get so anxious. Like I can literally feel my body like tensing up and stressing out when I leave my voicemails. I don't know why. It's like, cause you can't like further explain yourself or like you only get one chance. So for some reason I always have a hard time. Um, but yeah, I just booked an acupuncture session. I am going to be doing it. I think my plan is I'll talk with um, them when I get there, but I think my plan is um, once a week leading up to the transfer and then um, I will actually do one also on the day of transfer um, my doctor does do it actually in the room and so just depending on whether I have him doing my um, embryo transfer or if it's the other doctor we'll see about that but that's kind of my plan I like doing acupuncture and I think it definitely is an added bonus and so it's I think it's better to do it than not to do it and also I just want to try everything and make sure I'm just covering my bases you know um, and then the other phone call just then was to try and book my endo scratch my endometrial biopsy that I am doing here where we live um, with my previous doctor for all my other millions of millions of treatments and that way I don't have to actually fly all the way over to Victoria to do it and then fly back which would just be crazy so I'm trying to book that um, but we're playing phone tag and it's gonna be like probably three more weeks until I finally talk to her but not really so yeah there's just been so many things that I have to like figure out and as much as I like doing it because it means I'm active in something it also can be kind of stressful so I'm trying to get things done now so that I'm not worrying about it later. Um, like, for example, getting meds and then going to the pharmacy and then not having any of the needles that I need and then having to go around all over the city trying to find the needles that I need and then having to compromise and it's just... It's been crazy. Can you tell I'm a little bit stressed? <laughs> it's okay though. It's all worth it. It's all totally worth it. So babe, now that you're home, are you so excited we hit 20,000? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm glad awesome. to see a different starting number for once. <laughs> yeah, it's see, that's too long. totally what you would say. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for everyone who subscribed so far. I know Ayla's probably already thanked you and said yay yeah. and everything, but uh, I wanted to say thank you as well because it's so great to have you all here with us and we're just so excited to continue to grow and for you to grow with us and for us to grow with you and just be one big happy family. That was a lot of growing. <laughs> well, it's spring. <laughs> so it's funny. a good month for growth, right? Okay. All around. Yeah, and maybe uh, maybe this will grow too. I don't even think I'm pointing to it. <laughs> maybe my belly will grow too. And it's dark, so you probably are just a shadowy figure. <laughs> It's proof that you're watching the vlog. <laughs> I'm just doing, um, I'm watching the tape back of my weather segment. Yeah. Taking notes. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. 
Caleb said he needed a second because he just finished crying. No. Why were you crying? My eyes are dry. Yeah, right. <laughs> we just watched that um, animation movie Coco and it was cute. So he was crying. Don't deny it. I'm not I'm kidding. Yeah, it was good. Okay. Okay. It was there's some good scenes towards the end. And <laughs> Ayla's already seen it, so she didn't even cry, I don't think, but I teared up. But yeah, I've seen it. I shed um, a tear or two. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ellie, she's so sweet. She's always where we are, no matter what. Mm-hmm. <gasps> okay. I think we're gonna end the vlog. Say thanks for watching. I gotta go <laughs> check out some flights, right? So Yeah, I wanna do that tonight, okay? Can okay. we do that? Potentially. No, no, potentially. I, I always have a hard time because I'm like, but what if the price goes down? <laughs> and then it's like it keeps going up. So yeah. we'll just, we, there's a good chance we will. Okay. But I can't commit. Okay. <laughs> I can't vlog fish it. Okay, we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you later. See so ya, yeah, have a great week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Look at the way she looks at me. <laughs> She wants to eat you. Look, no. look at her lips. Mm, look at that girl. I want to just munch her right up.